guys welcome to my channel it's a lifestyle and of course evening and i'm your health lifestyle one wisher if it's your first time to check one of my videos thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe and to ring the bell as well so that each and every video which is uploaded you get to be notified and if you are a subscriber already thank you so much for the support and love you more if you are not yet a subscriber and you're still checking and wondering whether you should subscribe or not well um you are missing a lot i mean what are you waiting for just subscribe okay so in the today's video i'm going to share with you guys how you can gain weight so the previous video was about how to lose weight this one is about how to gain weight so gaining weight and losing weight it's kind of something that it, that seems to be tough to do but once you have the keys once you know the reasons and i mean once you know how to go about it it becomes very easy for you to lose weight or to gain weight right so with me here i have two things that are going to help me in this video and the first one is this this that looks like a pamphlet i'm going to share with you guys what it is a few minutes from now and then i also have my notebook where i just had to list down a few of food lists that can really help you to gain weight so I'm just going to share with you guys the three major things or the three keys that can help you to gain weight. So the first, before I share these three things, I want to let you know that in between losing weight and gaining weight, there is only one thing that is um, that is supposed to be controlled, right? And that's calories, the calories. So the calories, this is just the bunch of energy which is needed by the cells. The cells need energy for them to, to function in a normal way. So these are calories. The calories, um, if you want to increase weight, that means you have to increase the intake of calories. If you want to reduce weight, that means you have to reduce the intake of calories that you're taking. So it's just how you are going to manipulate with those calories. That's all. So since we're talking about gaining weight and we're talking about increasing the calories, the number of calories you're having in your body, the energy you're having in your body, and how you can still hold that up that you don't end up using all the calories. The first thing that you have to know or that you have to do is that you have to be willing. You have to be willing to gain weight if that's what you really want. Because if you are not willing and you put in place some of the things that you have to do, you find yourself not doing them it's because you're not willing you have taken your journey for granted you don't want it. you want it to work out to to work it to work out but again because of other things that you've put in place that you've put as a first priority in that journey they are hindering you from not succeeding in your journey so the first thing is that you have to be willing meaning you have to discipline yourself in the journey that you are going to make the, the all the plans that you're going to make you have to make sure that you do them that's the first thing then the second thing is that leads me to this pamphlet which i'm i told you that i'm going to share with you guys what it is so this pamphlet was made by the nutritionist from keto Tishindo hospital and the nutritionist name is um, mr siska dixon so he's the one who made this by the way guys this is mine so this was 2019 when I did this and it's not that I was trying to lose weight or I was trying to gain weight but because of um, there are some things that I take and some of the things that I don't eat so definitely I needed to see the doctors that he write down he do different kind of examinations and that he write down the things that i'm supposed to take so that those things that i don't eat they get to be replaced if not i might have uh, maybe malnutrition or other health problems because of some nutrients that i'm not having so it was really important that i check in the doctor and he had to do just a quick one on this he had to do uh, different kind of examinations he had to do lipid profile creatinine glucose protein urinalysis uh, FB, fbc then he also had to do height body weight and he came up with the bmi which was 19 by then and which is kind of okay but not that much because there's only one difference you know the range is 18 to 25 that's the bmi and it's supposed to be in between that so 19 that means just one as the difference from 18 18 to 19 that's just one difference so i had to make sure that have to make sure that at least my bmi is 
at 20 so that I shouldn't be underweight. So it's very important that you know how your body is and everything, how your systems are working, how if at all you don't have any health issues that can that are maybe hindering you from not losing weight or from not gaining weight. So it's very important to check in the doctor. And for me, he had to come up with the diet guide. They are quite a lot. So he had to come up with the diet guide, the things that I'm supposed to be taking. And yeah, it's really helpful. And I'm still using it even up to now. Because before this, I used to have some minor issues, maybe blurredness, feeling dizzy and all that. So yeah, this has really been helpful so you have to make sure that you check in the doctor if you find that all the ways you are trying you are doing they are not working out you're trying to lose weight you're not losing weight you're trying to gain weight it's not working so make sure you check in the doctor and he does different kind of examinations and comes up with one diagnosis and knows what's happening with your body so that's the second thing you have to check in the doctor then the third thing is that you have to make sure that you know the nutritional content of each and every food you are buying or taking i talked about the calories so we are just talking about calorie management here only and in this case you're trying to what i'm saying is each and every time you're buying food make sure you check the nutritional content you check how many proteins are there how many carbohydrates are there how many fats are there and how many calories are there specifically i'm talking about the calories so you check in how many or how much calories does that food contain right then when you take a lot of calories then definitely you're going to have your body thickness to be to increase so let me just share uh, just few foods that really have um, high calories so if possible you can just write this down if you if you really want to write them down so the first one is peanut butter peanut butter has about 191 calories they are a lot of calories we are talking about 2,000 to 3,000 calories in a day and imagine you have about 4,000 calories and you are not even using them up definitely you can even uh, gain weight in a week even in days because you're having a lot of calories, a lot of energy, and you're not using them up. They get to be stored, and yeah, you increase in your weight. So peanut butter really helps. Then we also have bananas. Bananas, the recommended ones are two bananas in a day. If you take more than two bananas, that's other issues because bananas are rich in fibers. So they have about 105 calories, which are a lot. You add up peanuts and bananas, those are a lot of calories and also avocado 160 calories and also uh, red meat red meat has a lot of calories compared to white meat so you can just put that in the timetable budget like in your timetable what are you going to have in the morning what are you going to have in the afternoon the key is each and every food you are eating you have to make sure you know how many calories are in there how much calories are in there because there are a lot of food whereby you can eat as much as you want they won't make you to gain weight because they don't have much calories so yeah i've talked about peanuts avocado white meat red meat rice as well pasta cheese sausage okay that's in the same categories of meat so soya pieces you can also add up potatoes smoothies as well smoothies are really helpful because you are doing different kind of combinations you make maybe bananas so you combine with maybe um, maybe strawberries or you combine different kind of things you even add uh, dark chocolates in there definitely those are a lot of calories so smoothies really helps you can also add um you can add uh, what else what else so you have been powder you can be having that maybe in the morning or maybe uh, not really late in the evening but in the early evenings you can have that before having your main meal so yeah you have to make sure that you make a timetable that's the third thing this was just a quick help like the kind of food that are rich in calories so there are a lot of foods that are rich in calories so the key is that each and every time you're buying food you make sure that you check the nutrient content you check how many calories are in there if it's really going to be helpful with you make sure that the calories of each and every food that you take are more than 100 
calories so more than 100 calories it will really help you in gaining weight you boosting up the energy so you're going to have a lot of calories in a day and definitely the activities that you're going to do will not really require a lot of energy to just require a few energy which means that you're going to be left with a lot of energy in your body which is going to be stored and then the other thing is that after you take your meal you may rest some at least you have enough so that you don't use up that energy right that energy doesn't go directly to be used up it will be stored so these are the main things guys you have to know the calorie content and everything so this is what i thought of sharing with you guys thank you so much for watching and see you in the next time